a long time ago in a galaxy far, far away. A friend of mine invited me to go to the Tate Modern. I was confused, offended. Why the hell would I want to go to an art gallery? I calmly explained my objections. But eventually, just to be polite, I graciously agreed to go. And it changed my life. The scale, the ambition, the variety. I started going as often as I could, and the inspiration eventually led me to become a full-time artist myself. The Tate Modern is one of London's biggest cultural attractions, but a lot of people still find it off-putting for various reasons, and this video is especially for the skeptics. So much so, that I've even invited my own special skeptic friend along with me for today's journey to show how we can all enjoy ourselves here. Introducing Henry from Hackney. Henry was sent to me for some mentoring, but unfortunately, I don't understand the word he says. Calm, just chilling, cooling, booling. <laughs> and he thinks I'm an arty farty idiot. We're gonna get out of this grey London weather and go and enjoy ourselves in the Tate Modern, and you're gonna come with us. Welcome to the Art Fix. The Tate Modern is massive and it's intimidating when you don't know where to start. Help. 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 Don't spend time queuing for the paid exhibitions today. The free collections are some of the best in the world. So number one is start here, level two in the boiler house. Number two, walk, don't object. Okay, do we go in then? It's alright. Nah, I don't really some modern art stuff. Nothing like a tea to be honest, you guys go in and I'll just Be open-minded today and give it a go. The Tate Modern is more diverse than you can imagine. If Dali reminds you of school, if Miro always left you cold, then just walk. Walk past the things that don't grab you until you see something that does, something that resonates with you for whatever reason. The piece I've chosen today is Then and Now by Laura Simpson. In this piece, I could see African-Americans and the government in civil war. I can relate to this piece because in this day and age of our generation, I feel like the government are constantly attacking my generation because of our deprived background and the disadvantaged areas we come from. Number three, take photos of the things that flick your switch. Relax, hang out. Believe it or not, appreciating art is actually this simple. It's just a question of personal taste. Number four, stuff your face. You need energy for this art game. You're a soldier now, and soldiers need calories, so don't hold back on treating yourself. Number five, get your ass up to level four of the boiler house. Here's another amazing floor of stuff to enjoy for free. Again, just walk until you find something that grabs you and spend some time with it. Now that's enough for one day. You don't want to overdo it. But number six is come back and repeat. Tate is yours to explore now. Hang out with friends, discover more art. Take some much needed time out of the rat race for rest and contemplation. So Henry, what everyone wants to know at home is have you enjoyed today? Yeah, I enjoyed my time today. Although I was a bit out of my comfort zone, I really enjoyed it because it was quite productive and a real eye opener. And what I have to ask, is are you going to come back and why? Yeah, I'll definitely come back because I just learned about things I never even knew existed. So yeah, I'll definitely come back to Tate. There you go, result. We're exhausted from mucking around in the Tate all day. We've had a lot of fun. We hope you've had a lot of fun too. I'll see you next time. May the force be with you. Okay. They're gonna come around just in case. Did you catch that?